Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back with Cassette Beast now out and everybody diving right into it. I'm sure some of you are wondering how to gain currency within the game. Now, that being said, Cassette Beast does not have a strict currency like gold or dollars or whatever, but instead has various types of scrap that you can gain through various activities, which essentially functions the same way as a currency, just with, I guess you could say different currency types. For example, you have wood, plastic, pulp, metal, etc. And today we're gonna be going through five ways that you can earn these currencies currencies and I would like to in the near future put together a fast currency method but for now we're just going to be going into how you can actually gain scrap right away. I'm going to be calling the various materials scrap just for sake of ease but other than that make sure to sit back relax and let's dive in. Okay, so I'm going to run through these pretty quickly because they don't require a lot of in-depth explanations, but the first method and most simplest is to simply battle enemies, whether they be trainers or wild monsters, and defeat them. In doing so, at the end of battle, you will be rewarded with different types of scrap, and this oftentimes will correlate with the type of monster you're defeating. For example, defeating a traffic crab will typically give you plastic, which, I mean, makes sense. A lot of these monsters will give you simultaneous currency as well, so you can kind of experiment with who gives you what type of currency. The second pretty simple way to earn various types of scrap is to find chests and other areas of interest throughout the world. Oftentimes when you do find a chest, it might come with a sticker as well, some type of loot, and of course, tons of scrap, and typically a significant amount. There are a lot of different areas within the world of Cassepis that will have little puzzles, or underground spots that you can sort of explore to find chests, but again, pretty self-explanatory. The third method involves discarding various items. So typically in a game like Pokemon, you can kind of sell stuff or just throw it out. But in Cassepis, you can actually scrap any item in the game, pretty much, right from your bag, and it'll transform into various materials. If you find that you have multiple stickers, which will be pretty common, especially if you're using the method I'm about to mention next, uh, you can discard them and any other items you find or earn during gameplay in order to increase your scrap pool should you need it. Another great method for obtaining various types of scrap and does sort of fall into that whole defeating monsters and other cassette users trope, but that's beating rogue fusion monsters. And I decided to make this its own point because I need to emphasize the importance of fighting these beasts and the key difference. So firstly, these are more difficult battles and as of such will net you more experience, more loot in general that include, but is not limited to scrap and even fused materials, which in and of themselves act as another currency that allow you to buy things at the guild. I do have a guide planned for talking about what some of the end game stuff you can get with fused materials are. So stay tuned for that. But basically you can find rogue fusions in random chests or as black figures throughout the map and when you get to the post game you'll actually be able to locate these rogue fusions via your own map. Now finally last but not least and I haven't done a whole lot of testing with regards to what's fastest but I do think this one is definitely a contender and that's actually recording various monsters and discarding their cassette tapes. Essentially after you record a cassette you can just scrap it and earn various resources for doing so. Just as a quick example a cassette will cost something like 10 plastic and even capturing a level one traffic crab and discarding it will net you over 30. Like I said before, I have a lot more testing to do, but definitely experiment with any extra monsters that you don't need and expect a more in-depth guide soon if it's something you guys want to see. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the quick guide on five different ways you can earn scrap in cassette beasts. Like I said, I wanted to keep this rather general because I do plan on putting out a more advanced guide, but for now, since the game is freshly out, I wanted to make sure you guys understand the basic concept of gaining materials and why they're important. You can use them to buy stickers, you can use them to buy cassette tapes, you can use them to buy healing items, etc. These are very important things to have and you should be actively searching for them and taking them into consideration. That being said, make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily monster taming content and to stay up to date on all things cassette beasts. You can also check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. Special thanks to our patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogh Ghost, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Maruncy, and we'll see you next time. Peace.